Alright, so this is day two. Welcome. Thank you for watching. Now, we already sanded this down to bare metal, the majority bare metal, and then wiped it down, and then put the primer on. It took four coats, and then the fifth coat, I was only able to get half of the boat up at the front. So, almost five full coats. Now, this stuff was drying really quick yesterday or a few days ago when I put it on. Um, this is actually fairly slick itself, so you are going to have to sand it down. They do tell you to use 220 grit to wipe it down. I'm going to go ahead after doing some tests. Uh, this seems to be doing good. You can view those tests right quick right here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use this. Now this will take 15, 20 minutes I would think to just do this whole boat because you're not trying to get any of this off. You're just trying to scuff it so that the top coat of the wetlander will actually stick to it. So I'm going to go ahead, wipe it down, and then we'll do the same thing that we did with the primer. Mix it up, use those half gallon jugs again, um, mix it, get the portions right, and probably won't take any breaks this time with hopefully it dries pretty quick. I'm still only going to mix half of it before and then once I get done with that half then I'll mix the other half. Um, but last time this stuff was drying very quick so I'm going to go ahead mix up half of it after I get done scuffing this whole thing and I wipe it down. You don't wipe it down with acetone or anything just get a damp rag and wipe all the uh, sand or whatever comes off after you scuff this just wipe it clean and then um, go ahead and use your top coat so just watch now we're gonna go ahead scuff it up and see how it turns out so again real quick just using these Go ahead, just wipe down the whole boat. Should take about 15 minutes, and then we'll get on to the top coat. Alright, so we just wiped this whole thing down, as you're seeing over the time lapse. Um, I am putting a good amount of pressure on these pads, I'm seeing some grooves, and if I don't press hard enough, I don't see those grooves, so I don't see where I've sanded yet. So I went ahead and I, I gave it a firm press, and I could feel it when it dug in, and then you could tell when it started getting built up because it would just get uh, smooth and you would feel it like you're not grinding in there. So I just tapped it off, blew it out, and then kept going. Um, it was fairly easy, it was fairly quick. Um, it's pretty much, one way you could tell if you have the sun just right is getting the glimmer or the shine off of the coat. So you can sort of see that way where you're going because you take off that shine and it's no longer glossy. So that's where that's how I sort of focused when I was sanding. Didn't take too long. Um, I mean, I worked in sections and I just worked my whole way around. And then I wiped everything down with a dry rag and then I went back around with a damp rag and wiped everything down. Uh, right now, pollen is really dropping. As you can tell, it's still slippery. Um, so that's why I wanted to get some good grooves in here was because it is very slick and slippery just like I would think the top coat would be so if it gets any more slicker then this is really going to be pretty fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, sand it down, then use a dry rag to get the bulk of it off and then use your damp rag and clean the whole surface. So now that we use the damp rag and the surface is clean. I wiped out the damp rag and there's no, the rag was clean. So um, 
now we're good for the top coat. So we're going to go ahead, go to uh, the other side of the boat where I'm mixing everything and we'll get that set up. Alright, so right here we have our top coat. We have our instructions. Top coat A. And then top coat B. Plastic bag over the top of it so I can go ahead and reuse it just because I'm cheap. I did go ahead and buy a new roller. Well, I bought two and I went to the store because I wanted one for the top coat and one for the primer because I thought it would destroy them just like it did. This is what it looks like new and this is what it looks like after. After I washed it, it never hardened on there. It just destroyed it and took all the fuzzy paint nice thing off, all the fuzzy hair. I like going over the top rails first and then getting the sides. And go to the bottom. You can do that just to make sure you get all around those heads. And then get the center part. Roll up on the sides and then roll over top. Try to get the first layer on fairly thin. That way it dries quick and I can come back. Once I get done with the whole boat, it'll be dry. I can just continue on. I'm applying the top coat and I scuffed it pretty good, but it still looks like it's almost like beading up or doesn't really look like it's adhering to the primer coat. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm still just going to paint it on, I guess, because it's already mixed. So I'll hope for the best, but it just looks like it's uh, like water beating up on a windshield. It just doesn't look like it's adhering to the surface. So I just want to see if that's normal or not. 